Hi, welcome to the Tom Reed Library, where today we're going to talk about reference librarians. Hi, I'm Kristen Stewart. I'm the reference librarian here. What is a reference librarian? I thought you'd ask. So a reference librarian is great at hunting down information. Also, also they can help you find any book you need. So today we're going to put that knowledge to the test by playing a, a game I call Stump the Librarian. Now we should probably start the game. What are the six dog meat books? Let me check one other resource that we have called Novelist. Hmm. It's a database that you can use from home with your library card. So this should list all the books in the Dogman series. So Dogman. That's one. Dogman Unleashed. Two. A Tale of Two Kitties. Three. Dogman and Cat Kid. Four. Lord of the Fleas. Five. Brawl of the Wild. Six. That's all six. Question two. Who is the 16th president of the United States? It's Abraham Lincoln. It's kind of obvious. Can you spell diamonds? I am not sure. Let's look it up. So I'm going to go to a different database. We have a whole section of databases that are for homework and continuing education. Wow. So what I'm going to do is look at, this one is called Explora Primary Schools. Okay. So it's, it's for kids like your age. So we'll try that first. Okay. It doesn't look like... It says if it can be, because, you know, they use diamonds to cut other substances, right? Because they're one of the hardest things in the world. You might have stumped me. Okay. Question five. Can you smelt wood? Wood. Let me check. This one, I'm just curious. So am I. Hmm. You can use wood to smelt other things. Well, that is... <laughs> to yes. make the fire. Yes. And I don't think you can smelt wood. I don't think so, because it seems like, unless it's petrified wood, I'm not sure. Good job. Question six. Can you smelt granite? Wait, is that... Is that a picture of granite from Minecraft? Yes, I believe in Minecraft you can smelt granite. But that doesn't count in the real world. I have granite countertops, though. Oh, you do? Okay, that's pretty cool. Seems like you should be able to because there's some metal in there. So the metal part of it would probably smelt. Question seven. Who wrote the song, This Is Not A Test? Would that be Toby Mac? Correct. Next question. <laughs> what is a book about the cheese touch? The cheese touch. Like the golden touch, like Midas? But about cheese. Yes. Okay, let me see. Let me check. You might find it in Jeff Kinney's. In, in Jeff Kinney, the Jeff Kinney section. Is that like Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Yes. <laughs> okay. One of our most popular series of books. Question nine. Do you like to sleep on a bunk bed? No, I like to sleep on a regular bed. Do you like books? I love books. I thought so. I thought so. Twelve. What is your name? Kristen. Kristen Stewart. Not unlike a famous person. Question thirteen. Mm -hmm. Have you been to City Hall? Yes. Carolyn City Hall. Yes, sir. Okay. I was there this morning. How many books are in the series Diary of a Wimpy Kid? That I'll have to look up. 10, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 books in the series. Question 15. What time is it? 4.22 p.m. Central Time. Question 16. How many planets are there? So it looks like 1, 2, not including the sun, eight planets. Who is the president? Donald Trump. Correct. Question 18, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Great. Good. Question 19, do you have any pets? Yes, I have one cat. 20, why are there holes in Swiss cheese? Ooh, I, well, let me look it up. I can think about that, but I'm not sure. 
as the as the cheese ripens and matures, one kind of bacteria found in the cheese releases carbon dioxide. Wow. Which builds up inside and slowly forms bubbles, creating the holes. Oh. So it's part of the aging process. Uh, oh, 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 oh. How are some bacteria good for you? So if you search by good bacteria, something we call probiotics, which are um, good bacteria that live in your digestive system that help you break down foods and stuff like that. Oh. 22. How cold does it have to be to snow? Hmm. So let me check. All right. Snow forms when water vapor in the air freezes. So uh, and this happens when it's very cold in the clouds itself. Wow. So let me see if it mentions a temperature. I'm going to assume 32. Maybe it's 31. 32 degrees right there. Ooh. 23. Why does rotting food smell bad? There is a Pseudonymonas frog guy, a bacterium that can commonly spoil dairy products as an almost pleasant strawberry odor. Some yeast produce sulfur compounds and mold. Mold gives off the musty and earthy aromas. Oh. So different types of food develop different types of decay. Oh. They can smell like different things. Okay. 24. How do some cheeses taste better over time? So here's an article about aging cheese. So this says aging changes the cheese. Fresh cheeses retain much of like what it tastes like as milk because that's how you start making cheeses with milk. Aging the cheese makes them have new depths of flavor. 25. Okay. How does bread get stale? Well, sometimes it depends on the type of bread and how it's baked and also how long you leave, if you leave it exposed to the air for too long. Question 26. How is composting so good for the planet? Well, it's also a really good way to get rid of natural materials without putting them into a landfill. By composting, it just goes into a pile and then you turn it every so often and then you can put it on your garden and it makes the plants grow better. So it's completely recycling some, you know, using vegetable scraps to make more vegetables. And maybe even using banana peels to grow more bananas. Sure. Mm hmm And coffee grounds too. Eggshells. Eggshells, yeah. Yeah. Except you can't really grow eggs. You could probably um, raise chickens. Though. You could. You could raise chickens. 27. How does laundry detergent work? It neutralizes some things and then activates other parts of the chemicals to get rid of the dirt. So it lifts, by chemical processes, it lifts the dirt off, off of either hard surfaces or your, well, laundry detergent would take it off your clothes and fabric. 28, okay. who was the first president of the United States? Well, George Washington. 29, how do you build a tree? Well, I know for a fact that there's a book over here. I can show you where the books are on the shelf. Do you want to go look? Yeah, let's go look. Okay, let's go look. So they'd be in 690. And here, here is a book right here about tree houses. Oh, okay. Why do animals shit? Well, so animals tend to shed more in like when the seasons are changing because either it's going to get warmer and they're getting rid of that winter coat that's keeping them warmer. Or um, I've also heard that animals will shed right before winter time so that they can make room for the new thicker fur. Nice. 32. How, how does snow fall? How does snow fall? So it looks like the snow forms when the water vapor in the air freezes, and that's when it's very cold in the clouds. It turns into ice crystals instead of water, and then it comes out gently instead of like rain because it's made of or ice crystals instead of water. Yeah, rain is rain is, is the a liquid. Water heavy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thirty-three. How are snow? So, snowflakes so big. Well, some aren't big. Some are small. But some can get as big, can get as wide as a flower. 
That's true. Um, it all depends on how the ice crystals join together. Yeah, I think it just depends on how cold it is probably and how much moisture is actually in the air to, to make the crystals bigger or smaller, you know what I mean? Got it. 34, can dogs get the flu? I think so, but let me double check. My cat had a cold once, so I would think a dog could get the flu. Some dogs um, can carry a mixture of flu viruses. So when animals get the flu, yeah, yep, dogs can get the flu too. Okay, 35, Can cat, are cats allergic to people? I've never been asked that before. According to um, Washington State University College of Veterinary Medicine, coughing cats may be allergic to people. Okay. It's very rare. Very rare. It says. Yeah, it's got to be because I don't have any cats that are. Okay. 36. What is in this microphone? A diaphragm, a coil that moves back and forth, and a magnet. Wow. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, you heard it here, folks. It's almost impossible to, to stump your reference librarian. So don't even try. <laughs> so come so come down to the Pearland library, library and talk to Kristen and see if you can stump her. Ask her any question, she'll help you find the answer. And the library has lots of things that you can use to look stuff up with. Did you learn something? Yeah, I learned lots.